there they are, my pannier racks from DirtRacks.com. Uh, I got them in, and I am excited. I can't wait till the weekend till I can mount them on the bike. I ordered the uh, unfinished, the raw unfinished. I could have ordered the finished ones as well. I originally thought I was going to paint them the Kawasaki yellow for my uh, for my uh, bike, but that I decided to change my mind against that. And so um, I went on ahead and primed them and painted them hammered black. And uh, I'm very happy. I can't wait to get them on the bike this weekend. It's going to be a weekend thing. I did get the multifunctional because I'm going to be mounting the, the Nelson Rig uh, SE uh, Adventure Bags on here. <laughs> uh, and so there they are right there. And I will be mounting those on these pannier racks. Uh, I can also mount the uh, Tusk later on if I so choose. So that's what's cool about these. Real easy, uh, looks like a pretty simple, straightforward project. I will be doing that this weekend. All the mounting hardware comes that I'm going to need to do this. They turned out really, really good. Um, these are hand fabricated. So if you're looking for, you know, pannier racks, you don't have to relocate any turn signals or any of that with these. That's what's cool about them. So if you're looking for pannier racks, you know, or crash bars or any of that kind of thing, log on to uh, dirtracks.com and check them out. Uh, so I'll be doing a full video this weekend. Okay, this video is um, for my pannier rack install on my KLR 650. These are these are the dirt uh, dirt racks. They're the multi-use pannier racks, and I bought the multi-use just in case I ever decided that I wanted to because I'm going to be putting the Nelson rigs right there. I have my old KLR bags right there, and I'm going to be putting the new Nelson rig bags on there. And uh, for those bags, you need to have a pannier rack. <clears throat> so I went with this one. I opted for this one for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I opted to do this because if I ever decide that I want to go with hard panniers, I can use these racks. It's real simple. There's the holes already set up for them. So, uh, and that's on both sides as well. So this was a very easy installation. I, I was going to do this uh, this weekend because I thought it was going to be very uh, very uh, difficult to do, but actually it was very easy. I think I've got maybe 35, 40 minutes total. And if I hadn't had to take my trusty old uh, case off the back to remove the uh, plate so that I could get the helmet mount removed, uh, it would have been quicker than that. But uh, <clears throat> it's real easy. You just take, you just pop the back panel off, uh, and then you uh, go underneath. You pull the helmet rack off. And that's really cool that they thought about that uh, to relocate the helmet rack like that. That's very cool um, on the uh, on the bumper there on the. Uh... So anyway, um, it was real quick and easy. It was just a matter of three bolts, and all you have to do, um, look, man. There's no cutting wires. There's no removing uh, tail lights. None of that. That's why I chose the dirt racks. Uh, uh, pannier racks for that purpose because I didn't want to get wrapped up in all of that cutting wires and rem I know it's not that hard it's not that difficult uh and but it's just more labor intense than what I really wanted to get into so you just take off the first bolt for the turn signal you take this bolt off right here and you take the top bolt uh out of the uh, the um, rear um <clears throat> foot peg with the bolts that they supply you put their bolts back in. You just line them up and put them right in. Guys, it's real easy. And, you know, the same for the other side. It was the same thing. And so it was a real quick thing. I ordered, <clears throat> now, you can get them finished. I ordered the raw because originally I planned to paint them the same color as the bike. But uh, I opted not to because I couldn't find that exact same color. I could probably have it powder coated that way, but I just wanted to get them installed because I want to put my new bags on. So I went on ahead, I primered them and I painted them uh, and I got them all ready to go. And then I, today I came home and I just said, you know what? I got to looking at it and I thought this is going to be real easy. And so it was uh, very quick and they're on there. They're on there nice and solid. They're not going anywhere and I'm going to mount my uh, bags on there. But to you guys over there at dirtracks.com, thank you very much. I am very pleased, very happy, um, and I really like them a lot. They went on very easy, and uh, me and them guys are going to have a lot of fun. I am going to probably order the um, the full body 
um, crash bar as well from them. I will order from them. But anyway, I'm going to put my, uh, my bags on and then we'll see what it looks like then. All right, there she is. <clears throat> bags are mounted. And uh, of course I got my heart pack back on too. <laughs> Man, I like it. I like it a lot. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's there's space there. It's not gonna burn. Look at it from back off. I like it very much so. So there they are. Very easy to install. Very easy. Log on to their website at dirtracks.com. Check it out.